Furthermore, the missiles are inbound from three directions simultaneously, from a ship, a drone, and attack planes. Worse still, they're being coordinated by AWACS. As you can see, Tor uses combat radar systems to defend the station. Their effective range is many times more than other air defense systems. As soon as combat radar systems register a threat signal, they transmit the information to Tor. The enemy ship is the first to launch. Its cruise missiles travel close to the water surface. Following close behind them, the missiles carried by the fighter aircraft fire at the station. There are several cruise missiles in the air, and all of them are coming straight at us. In this scenario, missiles from the ship are destroyed first, then the air-to-ground missiles, followed by the missiles from the drone, and then finally, the drone itself. Получается, крылатая ракета все-таки не самая сложная цель. Почему? Она имеет не такую высокую скорость, как, например, противорадиолокационная ракета. For comparison, the Tomahawk flies at 880 kilometers in an hour. America's anti-radar Harm missile can cover 2,280 kilometers in an hour. Still, the Harm is two meters shorter than the Tomahawk making it harder to hit. But that's what Tor must do, because these threats are precisely what it was designed to deal with. To see the Tor in action, we've come to a proving ground in Astrahan region called Kapustin Yar, where cruise missiles will appear in the air in a few minutes. There will certainly be fewer than 20 but that's still enough to destroy several large military facilities. Technically, it's very similar to the scenario that happened in Syria, but with one big difference. This pack of hounds will have 16 Russian tours waiting for it. Their task isn't just to shoot at the missiles, but to take down every single one. Here, we really should point out that the tour is just one part of a bigger air defense system, and it has one special feature. These missiles have sustainer motors, meaning they can change course without sacrificing much strike power. And there's one more thing. Tor M2 can hit the most difficult targets, even if they're flying low at just four or five meters above ground. Am I the reason you get stoned every week now? Build up integrity, got you texting, emailing me, wanting me to feel with you. Baby, just face reality, move on. Sometimes it's hard to face reality. 